Hello, this is Jan from jcweb.tech and today I want to share with you my approach how I managed to do this inline form with a button inside of the input field with Elementor Pro and a little bit, just a little bit of custom code. You will find these codes uh, together with the JSON file on my blog post that is linked in the description and also you will be able to download uh, these uh, other templates which use this approach. So without further ado, let's dive into the process. So let's start by dropping in the form widget. Forms. And now we will only need the email. And now to make it in one line, we will need to change this column width to let's say about 70% and the button width to the resting uh, 30%. We will also need to reduce this gap to, to zero and uh, when I'm here, I can ch already change the colors of the of the button. I'll change it to this uh, yellow and then hover slightly darker yellow to have some noticeable interaction. And now to move the button inside of the input, we will need to think a little bit outside of the box, which means that uh, we will not be moving it in, but we'll just make it appear like one uh, one element. So for that, uh, we will use inner section to remove the, the column and uh, move this form inside of the inner section. I will also remove this label and change the place, placeholder to enter your email to make it more inviting. Now we will actually go to styling of the of the field and we will remove the background or make it transparent if you will. And we will create a background with this column that is wrapping the form. So I'll make it white. And to achieve the, the style that we want, uh, we'll do the border uh, radius like uh, 30. And um, I'll make smaller padding to reduce this space here. So let's say about three. Yeah, three seems about right. All right, so now we want to, let's preview it. Now we will want to remove this border around the input to really make it look like one element. So I'll go again to styles of the of the field and border width set to zero. And see now the border is is gone. And uh, yeah, we are almost there. However, we may want to set it slightly smaller because it's really this field is unnecessarily wide. It doesn't match the design. So. Uh, let's set it. Let's go. Let's go to some code, and let's set this wrapping element to. to we will set it to maximum width about four hundred fifty pixels. Maybe four hundred. Okay, and now it's looking good. Now if we go to our responsive design, it looks slightly different. Here actually it's, uh, 
it's uneven spacing because the letters got smaller so let's fix that uh, button no uh, st styling button typography and we set it also to 15 there's no reason to make it smaller uh, let's actually use subscribe to make it more more clear so what is happening for the user so subscribe and it feels like it doesn't it looks like it doesn't fit in our in the initially set 30 percent so set it to 40 and the field to to 60 and okay this is better so let's go back to our responsive view it's looking good here and here it's it jumped down because in by default this is the default behavior of forms in elementor even though if you set it to to be next to each other on the mobile will also always jump down so we just need to go back to the same procedure so we set the field to 60 percent and to 40 percent and we need to make the button still a little a little smaller okay so i had to set the the painting on the button a little smaller so that it fits even on the smallest phone screen as you can see here so if we go back looks good looks amazing so you almost did no coding so you might be wondering why what's happening that there was almost no custom coding well in actually in a real world you may want to or you may need to respect the gdpr and add one more one more item which would be the acceptance saying uh, something like i agree them. conditions and as you can see it breaks it broke our layout so we will need a little bit of code and you could maybe figure it out from the dev tool in your browser but i will already tell you that uh, i need to simply go to the to the css and paste this code which basically says that uh, the field the acceptance field will be the last it doesn't really matter if you put one or two because the they are by default they are set to zero and now we just need to we just need to get rid of this white space here so we'll go to advanced margin of the form and we will give it some some negative uh, margin on the bottom That looks good and we can style the, the agreement a little bit field uh, typography make it a little smaller the styles you cannot really set uh, separately the color of the text here and here so we may want to go go here and use some CSS like span or white so in case you have the dark background like I have and this looks pretty much great so let's look at the result and you can see one last thing that you have this uh, border here when the field is in focus which kind of gives it away what we are doing here so if you want to get rid of this 
you can simply go back to styles of the of the form and paste the the second snippet but you be careful with this because it will compromise a little bit the accessibility for people that might be might need to use navigate through your website with like tab but if you really want this last touch for the design you can have it so here we go let me just copy paste this into into the templates okay so you will be able to download the json file of this templates that i created uh, on my website the link is in the description uh, there is also link uh, affiliate link to elementor pro in the description it would make my day if you used it and i would actually earn some money through youtube but i do this mostly for fun so i really hope this was useful for you and if you manage to use it in some design don't forget to share it with me have a great day see you in the next one